I don't even think Jamie Dimon really believes what he just said. I think he's trying to be cautious to to uh, to create a certain image. But uh, look, stock markets love inflation. They're a nominal market. Higher inflation should inflate profits. So as long as people have jobs, he mentioned, they're spending money, we're going to see strong stock markets. And so far, that's been the case uh, in this inflationary market. But on the other hand, for bond markets, which are important to, to Jamie Dimon, you know, we've seen rising bond yields, but not just that. We've also seen a rising uh, bond market volatility, which has really made the bond trader loser this year. Now, the mention of, you know, spending a lot of money for sure, and that was, I think, probably now we consider an excess. Uh, drunken sailors sound like a lot of fun. I, I don't remember too much of that during COVID. The sailors tend to get stuck in the port. But uh, look, look, I think we're, we're still a buyer of stocks here. We think those risks are, are perhaps overstated and we understand why someone like him would, would push those negatives at the moment. But we don't see evidence of that recession coming through yet. Okay, so if you're not worried about the impact of rising inflation and uh, higher yields on bonds translating into equities, then what are you buying right now on the equity landscape? What sectors do you like? Are there specific stocks you can mention? What are you looking at? So I think we, we've just finished an earnings season and we saw a few stocks really whacked for bad results, which gives really interesting opportunities to do a deep dive and see what's underpriced. So uh, a good area would be PayPal and fintechs. They got really hammered on concerns about profit margins. They were down 20% or, or more. Interesting to have a look at. Dollar General and a lot of the retailers were hit by poor comp sales uh, and even exporters like Tektronic, which does tools, hit by a reversal of, of COVID purchase patterns. So we've seen a bit of this where we had strong spending in certain areas and categories in COVID. It then comes off and you get a weak comp. When you look at the long term, what's going to be like in five to 10 years, they should be able to recover. Perhaps uh, the most interesting stock for me at the moment to have a really good deep dive on is Orsted, which is the world's leading, leading offshore wind developer out of Denmark. They lost about $10 billion or more in market cap from a $2 billion asset write down. And this is really about a European wind farmer trying to operate in US and perhaps being a bit political about writing down assets uh, to try to push through tax reform in the US. But there's, as I say, we've had a lot of really interesting opportunities come out of earnings season. I think it's a great time to have a look there.